Charlie has told her story of how she hid and sneaked as a child to the audience who sat on the steps in front of the dark. Now, turning her back to us, she has walked back to the cube and with a deft handstand, her legs wrapped around the upper bar. She slowly uncurls to sit on the far left corner of the cube. She climbs up again, like a cat. The red jumpsuit contrasting with the stark metal of the cube and the cement of the ground underneath her. She sits on the top bar. wheelchair as Alda enters. She is has rolled up to the cube. Charlie uncurls from her spot on the top bar into a headstand, her shoulders supported onto Isolda's thighs. Swiveling out of the handstand into Isolde's cradled hold. She does not remain there though, and snakes around Isolde's back to lie on her back, her arms outstretched, bird like. And so they roll in that formation to the front of the cube. Charlie rolls off Isolde's back into a cartwheel. They pause and look at each other. Charlie rolls back to Zelda to step on the back of her wheelchair. Upright. As on the prow of a ship. And there they roll back around the back of the cube. the cube. Charlie takes hold of the bar and spinning herself underneath it. As Alda grasps the upper bars and pulling herself out of the wheelchair, she pulls herself into the metal frame of the cube. Charlie is hanging upside down from the top bar and she lifts the wheelchair into the cube just in time for Isolde to sit back into it. Isolde arches her body backwards as Charlie arches her body backwards on the top bar of the cube, both of them bird-like. Charlie unfolds to the ground. enter, have entered, slowly carrying the metal framed chairs, including two that seem welded together at odd and awkward angles, which they set down on and in the cube. Another dancer wearing a mossy green top and short black hair enters. There are now three dancers in the cube, Charlie on the top bar, Isolde 
uh, in her wheelchair, leaning forward, holding a metal chair, and Svenja at an angle from the top bar to the vertical. There is a commingling of metal frames, the cube, the partial cubes, the wheelchair, the chairs, the chalk squares on the ground. instead of four, which she sits on now. Curling back into the cube. The dancers are moving now. Through the cacophony and chaos of metal edges, angles and spidering scaffolding, as if the dancers are trying to free themselves and the space. Kathy in the wheelchair has rolled around from the back. Zalda reaches for the front bar of the cube and pulls herself upright. Svenja supports her to move onto all fours. Still supporting her, they crawl shoulder to shoulder. making progress away from the cube and off towards us on the left. Meanwhile, Galen and Charlie lift the wheelchair out of the cube, setting it down on its side. They remove the top wheel. Galen dances off with it, curling herself around it as it rolls. 
They set the wheelchair spinning on its one wheel. The dancers are still. The only thing moving is the wheelchair, which is gradually coming to a stop. Now the dancers are as though rewinding their movements. Galen and Charlie replacing the wheel back on the wheelchair. Isolde and Svenja equally crawling back shoulder to shoulder towards the wheelchair until Isolde comes to sit back into it supported by all three other dancers. Again we see Kathy in a wheelchair off to the side. All four dance at exit in a rolling circular movement, partnering each other. They roll towards steps and up a ramp. Kathy follows with the GoPro camera, so we see the world from her perspective. They go up past another space, another courtyard with flowers, and up again another ramp several series of ramps. <laughs> <laughs> 